Lana McQueen was signed was first released in 2013 with a two pack with Fred and then again released around about 2015 2016. He also has a few Thailand releases of 2020, 2022, and 2023 as well. But the Lana McQueen in the pack is basically the exact same as this Lana McQueen here, albeit this is the, actually the base holes variant, excluding the base holes because it is a variant. He's exactly the same as an ordinary Thailand Lightning McQueen. And I always see people picking up a basic McQueen and paying the same price and not picking up the bonus accessory. He's literally a bonus accessory for the exactly the same price. I don't know why people don't actually do that. I'm going to add a little image of where this McQueen appeared in Cars 1 during the Rusty's tent, trying to sneak past all the Rusty cars. Dramatically failed. Part of the funny flashback scene in 2020 as well, part of the line. So yeah, it does make sense for him to be in that line because it is a funny scene. So yeah, this is the Thailand variant, the 2023 version with the base holes. I did actually already open this one up like in 2023. If I do add an image of the packaging, I will do. But is there really any point? I'm not entirely sure. We will take a close look at the McQueen in just a few seconds here. But here is the plastic sign that you do get with the McQueen. Very grainy, very blurry. There is a Chinese variant of this sign. Yes, I know I'm reviewing variants of plastic now. I'll get to that in just a few seconds here. But we can see he's got Rusty's oil can down here on the corner. Rusty's bumper ointment, Light McQueen. Some awesome stuff indeed. Rusty's, very nice. I like this image of McQueen. Literally just a copy and paste of his artwork. But, you know, it works really well. Going on to McQueen, bog standard Lightning McQueen, like Rusty, smiling expression, Lightning Bolt. We don't really need to review him as such. But you can see here he's got all his normal sponsors, like your tyres, signature on the top, fuel cap, Rusty spoiler. We've got the rookie racing strap on the back, 95. All of the usual stuff, he does have the base holes. So, you know what I'm going to have to do in this video is do the test of the made to work in tow hook. So, yeah, with this sign on, it doesn't really... It does work, but it, it looks really weird. It, it does look strange, I'll have to admit. Try it with the President Mater now on the back. And yes, I would really show him President Mater a hell bunch more. Just to show I don't have the Easter one still. Yeah, there's the McQueen with the sign and Mater. You know, very, very cool. Might actually be the thumbnail, you know. I might use President Mater. Be a funny thumbnail. So yeah, there's the box standard McQueen. Here he is next to a Thailand basic release. Just without the base holes. This is like his 2019 version. Literally the same. Same stuff. Stickers in the same place. Of course they would be. He's a segmented die cast because the eyepiece is not part of the body, making it entirely plastic. Anyways, that is enough of McQueen with sign from Thailand. I'll now take a close look at him with his Chinese sign. So here is the sign. If I disconnect this McQueen, you can see here. The sign from China is less grainier. You can see the decals are way much more clearer. You can see the Lightning McQueen plus these bump ointment isn't grainy. All of that stuff. So China wins it for the sign. But you know this is just a plastic sign. And yet it does actually have copyright in the sign as well. It, it, in there. Yes it says made in Thailand. And this one was saying made in China. Yes it's upside down. You can read that clearly. And this is the Chinese McQueen. Flat eyes. You know etc. It just goes on like so. And yeah just a bog standard like the McQueen. With the Rusty's logo on the back, which is accurate. We've got the Piston Cup sponsors. Quick comparison with the Thailand variants. I've done multiple videos in Thailand versus China before. Just that the only new feature is those base holes. So it does make it a new variant altogether, even though it is a piece of plastic. And here is a basic McQueen. I know, it's funny how this is a basic McQueen. For some reason, I do actually have three signs. I don't know how I managed to do that at all. 
Thailand, China, Vietnam doesn't exist of this McQueen. So somehow I've got two Chinese ones, one Thailand one, which makes sense. So yeah, weird. I managed to get this in B&M back in the time for like £4. I've got different, multiple different package variants of it. 2020, 2022, 2023 and 2023 curved packaging type, which I've done a whole video on before. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to leave a like. Comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. Do you prefer the Line of McQueen with sign, or do you prefer them without? Or do you prefer the Chinese variant? I mean, that's going to be a pretty obvious one. This is literally just a stupid review. Comment down below which is your favourite variant. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification button down below. Till next video, peace, everybody.